Pitt at North Carolina. The Tar Heels a three-point favorite at home. Total of 65. Latest numbers at BetUS. Chapel Hill uh, looking a little excited right now. 8 p.m. Eastern time game on the ACC Network. Yeah, Chapel Hill, those guys are pumped up because as it sits, it looks like North Carolina has the best chance to win their division and play in the ACC title game. Now, who could stand in the way of that? Well, of course, these here, Pitt Panthers, but we'll see. Last year, Pitt won this game 30-23. to Pitt is 2-0 and straight up and against the spread in the last two years against North Carolina. Prior to that, they were 1-7 and straight up, 2-6 and against the spread against North Carolina. So uh, maybe changing the streak a little bit. I don't know what this Pitt team is. Are they the team that has lost two out of three to Georgia Tech and Louisville? Or is it the one that played Tennessee to an overtime matchup, the same Vols team that is now, you know, top four or five or whatever it is in the AP and coaches' rankings? Uh, the running back, Abani Conda, he should run wild against the North Carolina defense. Number 99 PPA per rush here. Uh, the run rate is 53%. I, I would imagine they're probably going to run the ball more against this defense. Uh, because you would need to do that to keep North Carolina off of the field. Now, on the other hand, North Carolina's offense is absolutely bonkers. Number three in PPA per drive in the last five weeks. The defense, however, is putrid. Number 118. Um, The success rate for North Carolina, number 23 in the past five weeks. Pitt's defense, number nine in that spot. So certainly looking more like a Narduzzi team, the one that he constructed as opposed to uh, whatever it was that he tossed out there last year that, you know, they actually won with. Uh, Kyle, let's let's start with you on this. North Carolina, not great on standard down success right here. Pitt's defense is number four. They get people behind the chains frequently. However, if Pitt does get them behind the chains, North Carolina, number three in passing downs PPA, Pitt's defense is number 90 in that spot. So North Carolina may be finding ways to be explosive against this pit defense on third and long. I don't know that that's somewhere you want to hang out all the time, but Kyle, tell me, uh, what do you see in this one? I try not to do this too often, but I have to say about Pat Narduzzi, he deserves to take some heat on how things have gone. You know, I mean, this guy is one of the fastest coaches in the country to throw every assistant under the bus. It's never his fault. It's always the assistant's fault. After last year, Whipple did such a good job with that offense. You know, what what was wrong about their season last year on offense? In the offseason, Narduzzi is saying he's happy to have somebody who will finally run the football because that's really what they're good at. And so now he's gotten exactly what he wants. He wants these uh, lower scoring performances on offense, but they're still giving up points. So uh, the defense has gotten worse. I feel like, you know, it, it serves Narduzzi right that he's in this spot is kind of my point. You know, just that. He's wanted it differently, and so now he's getting, you know, what what he sowed. Um, this is a offense and pit that has been inconsistent. Um, Keaton Slovis, three big time throws all year. I, I still kind of think Keaton Slovis is pretty good, but he doesn't isn't given a great chance to be successful in this offense. Uh, you know, he also doesn't have that much help at wide receiver. You know, it's not like he has Addison out there like they used to. Um, their defense has gotten far worse too. Has Pitt. I thought their defense would be a lot better than they've been. 37th in yards per play allowed. They've given up a lot of big plays, like Gary said. What can you say about UNC? Amazing offense, terrible defense. That's about as you know succinct as I can. Scoring affair breaks out nearly every time uh, they play a football game. Drake May has been fantastic. North Carolina's defense needs to start getting some takeaways if they're not if they're going to give up so many yards. They only have eight takeaways this year. I lean North Carolina. I, I see the chat likes the over. I think I'm going to put some pizza money on the over here as well. I, th- this just feels like a game that that could get stupid. You know, I mean, we, we could see <laughs> Pitt actually looking good on offense because everybody looks good on offense against North Carolina, but Pitt giving up a bunch of big plays. So I'm going to put a little bit of a bet here on the over. Uh, Pitt is liable to kick too many field goals here on fourth and one from the three or four yard line or something like that. So I'm, I'm hesitant to put a lot of money on the over because I don't trust Narduzzi teams to uh, do the right thing on fourth and short. I am hesitant to trust Mac Brown and the UNC defense too much, which is why I didn't bet uh, North Carolina minus three. But that's certainly my lean. I I side with you on this. It's certainly a lean for me. I don't know how much I trust either team, so I'm I'm staying away from it. But Parker, we'll we'll move over to you. As I was talking about with, you know, being behind the chains, you know, North Carolina is actually really successful when they get in that spot. Uh, Pitt, I don't know 
as much about. I don't really know what this offense wants to be other than I know that they want to run the ball. But as far as like the the rush rate, I it's not like they're overwhelmingly running the ball. Like they're still letting Slovis throw it around some. Um, but they've been kind of without Mumfield here and there. You know, he was supposed to be kind of the star wide receiver. I don't really know about the weapons that they've got. Do they have enough to be able to hang with North Carolina here? Well, um, yeah, so I actually look at the rush rate over expected because, again, I like to account for like short field situations or like, hey, if it's second and one, sometimes people take that shot. And I have pit at 100, uh, 5.6 rush rate over expected. And so I, they definitely are. I mean, I think that's game state is dictated a lot of like, hey, we're down and we need to pass to try and catch up or the West Virginia games like, man, we can't. We can't keep up with these guys if we just if we just run the ball here. But I think that's changed uh, the past couple of weeks. Gary, um, astute watchers of this show will be inclined to remind me of a, a UNC uh, under seven and a half bet that I have from earlier. But uh, I'll say that I'll say that uh, sharks don't swim backwards. And I'm coming around to Drake May uh, a whole lot being able to overcome a Gene Chizik led defense, which is still a very funny thing to me. Two quarterbacks in the nation two have an average depth of target greater than 10 and adjust a completion greater than 78%. Those two quarterbacks, Bryce Young and Drake May. Drake May has 11.1 a dot, completing 78.7% uh, of his passes. That's uh, absolutely absurd. He's putting the ball downfield. I was worried that, um, you know, the whole offense was made out of Josh Downs last year. They're going to be able to spread the ball around, and he's done that a little bit more. They've been so multiple. I have them as the sixth most efficient offense in the Power Five compared to uh, Pitt's offense is 44th out of those 65 teams. Um, on the other side of the ball, North Carolina is 61st. They have been very bad on defense. Um, but Pitt's offense is only 44th. They're rushing so much um, that, you know, UNC is a little bit better against the rush than they are the pass. And uh, you mentioned field goals. I think finishing drives is something I really like in North Carolina's favor here. 64th in quality possession rate for Pitt, 90th in points per echo. Uh, 112th in quality possession rate for North Carolina's defense. But 88 in points per echo there. So they're a little bit better at stopping, not giving up, uh, you know, as, as many of those big plays relatively. I think that feeds into a narrative where Pitt's very conservative. UNC can spread it out. Pitt kicks field goals. UNC uh, scores touchdowns. I'm going to ride with the Tar Heels at home to cover. I love it. Official play for Parker. Going with the Tar Heels. Keeping up in that division. I like it. North Carolina to cover three at home against Pitt. Yeah, I like uh, I like what you're smelling there. I like that.